really excited nowadays thinking about the impact of targeted therapies on gastroesophageal cancers. We've seen the impact of targeted therapies in multiple other cancer types that have resulted in, in improvements in overall survival for these patients. So what have we seen now for gastroesophageal cancers? Probably the most promising data so far where we've seen survival benefit is in HER2 positive gastroesophageal cancer patients. This accounts for about 20% of patients overall, and we saw from the initial randomized phase 3 TOGA trial that the addition of trastuzumab to chemotherapy would improve overall survival, uh, progression-free survival, and response rate for patients who are HER2 positive. We're also awaiting data uh, looking at lapatinib for these patients. Uh, we're awaiting data from the first line logic trial. We did see some data from the Titan trial, which is uh, paclitaxel plus or minus lapatinib for HER2 positive gastric cancer patients. This study was done exclusively in Asia. And even though there was no overall survival benefit seen for the entire population, when they broke down the subpopulation of IHC3 positive patients who were HER2 positive, they did appear to have uh, benefit uh, from the addition of lapatinib to chemotherapy. We're also starting to learn a little bit more, just like from the Titan trial, about who, which HER2 positive patients benefit the most. And what we've seen so far is that the IHC3 plus patients seem to have more benefit so what's next coming down the line? Well, for the HER2 positive patients, we're looking at some more of the anti-HER2 therapies that have been, that have been seen uh, in breast cancer to be promising as well. These include TDM1, which is an antibody drug conjugate of trastuzumab linked to a, a very potent cytotoxic chemotherapy. We've already seen benefit uh, for patients uh, it, with breast cancer using TDM1. So we're gonna look at it for patients with second line gastric cancer. We're also um, going to start looking at combinations with pertuzumab, and we're also going to start looking at bringing some of these agents forward into the locally advanced setting to see if we can improve cure rates. Promising targets that are coming, we're looking at things like the CMET pathway, where we've already seen randomized phase two data where a CMET pathway inhibitor, rilotumumab, which binds to HGF, which is the ligand for the CMET pathway, potentially improves progression-free and overall survival in gastroesophageal pa patients who are CMET high. We're awaiting further data from trials with rilotumumab as well as metmab or on onartuzumab. We also have seen data from anti-EGFR therapies for patients with gastroesophageal cancers. Unfortunately, two first-line randomized phase 3 trials, the REAL3 trial, which compared chemotherapy plus or minus panitumumab, and the EXPAND trial, which showed chemotherapy plus or minus cetuximab, showing no overall survival benefit with the addition of an anti-EGFR therapy for patients. We're still waiting on biomarker studies to see if potentially there was a subpopulation that may have benefited, but it, right now we don't have that data. We've also seen data from gefitinib, um, the tyrosine kinase inhibitor of the EGFR pathway in the second line setting, which showed no benefit for overall survival for patients with gastroesophageal cancer. But again, we are looking for biomarkers that might suggest a subpopulation that may have benefited. For second-line therapy, we've already seen that chemotherapy in the second line can benefit patients for overall survival. We've seen this now for paclitaxel, taxotere, as well as uh, arenotecan. We also saw at this year's GI ASCO benefit for targeted therapy in, second, in the second-line setting. This was from the REGARD trial, which is a trial of ramaciramab, an anti-VEGFR2 monoclonal antibody, which versus best support of care in the second line setting, showed an improvement in progression-free and overall survival. This uh, agent also has very minimal toxicity, which is good for this patient population, which tends to be relatively sick. We're awaiting results of the RAINBOW trial, which is paclitaxel plus or minus ramaciramab in the second line setting, as well as some random, randomized phase two data of ramaciramab with chemotherapy in the first line setting. All in all, targeted agents for esophagogastric cancers are looking promising and we're learning more and more about patients who may benefit from specific therapies.